the introduction of television will definitely have an impact on our way of life. We are, however, convinced that the impact will be more positive than negative. Bhutan is no longer isolated and is exposed to the outside world through education, news, media, and interaction with people elsewhere. In fact, the growth of the video culture is already posing serious threats to some of the basic values of the Buddhist people, such as respect for life, discipline, communal harmony, family relations, spiritual values, etc. The growing affluence as a result of development and the exposure has also led to the mushrooming of satellite dishes, not only in the urban areas, but also in many rural areas. The Bhutanese people are not as isolated or guarded from external media as is commonly believed by many people. Many Bhutanese are already exposed to outside influence, both good and bad, enthusiastically by the Bhutanese people. Television will become a very important force for national integration, for the promotion of Bhutanese culture, including music and literary activities. Television will enhance the national identity and unity. It can Bhutan's television at a very short notice. So to the government of India, particularly the Ministry of Information and Doordarshan for the generous support extended to us. I would also like to comment and thank the engineers of BECIL and Sony Hong Kong for working round the clock to install the equipment. We would like to dedicate the launching of the Bhutan television to His Majesty, our enlightened and beloved King, whose silver jubilee celebration we have witnessed this morning. His Majesty the King is the driving force behind the modernization of Bhutan. It is his vision and dynamism that has enabled Bhutan to progress rapidly on the path of development. It is his sense of justice that, said, that has enabled Bhutanese society to enjoy equity, sense of security, and a sense of importance. His Majesty's pursuit of the gross national happiness for his people is the ultimate and unique mark of a great and beloved leader. The launching of Bhutan's television is a part of His Majesty's vision to open the eyes of the Bhutanese people, to improve their awareness, and to make them better citizens. Honorable Chairman, the Council of Ministers, Lempos, distinguished guests, ladies and ge gentlemen, it is a great pleasure for me to be here today for the inauguration of Bhutan's television service. The launching of our television service marks an important milestone in the development of the modern media in our small Himalayan kingdom. Our nation celebrates his Majesty the King's Silver Jubilee, and as we stand poised to enter a new millennium, it is indeed an auspicious time for us to establish one of the most effective mediums of information for our people. I believe the decision to launch television at this juncture once again reflects the pragmatic approach of the royal government in promoting the socio-economic development of our country. Establishing television had always been among the royal government's development objectives, but it was not a priority objective for a least developed country which only emerged from self-imposed isolation and embarked on a process of planned development less than four decades ago. These, in the development of the media, importance was given to the radio and print media as television was both irrelevant and unaffordable 
in the face of immediate developed needs. Until a few years ago, many of our villagers could not afford to buy radios, nor could many of our people read the print media. Today, after the successful implementation of seven five-year plans by the royal government, the goal of providing many of the essential amenities to our people has been largely achieved. The living standard and the health of our people have been greatly enhanced and our literacy rate has also risen. Our national newspaper has rapidly grown in circulation in three languages and our radio broadcasting service has now reached into every corner of our country. As a result, along with an increased thirst for knowledge and information, recreational needs have emerged. Television has now become more affordable and relevant with the progress we have achieved in the socio-economic development of our country. The differing views on television center around its many virtues and the dangers of its corrosive impact on the values of society. Here in Bhutan, we are neither blind to its disadvantages nor oblivious to the opportunities it has to offer. Having pursued for 25 years a philosophy of development aimed at promoting gross national happiness through harmonious balance in spiritual and material growth, we know that the strong fabric of the Bhutanese society can withstand and be enriched by the winds of change. We are mindful of the compelling forces of globalization and realize that we cannot remain apart in a world that is shrinking by the day. Above all, ours is a dynamic society which has been evolving in the way and at the pace we choose. Being fully aware of the changing realities engendered by our own actions and by those beyond our control, Bhutan must continue to evolve as a modern nation that is fully in tune with the world at large while cherishing the values of its rich cultural heritage. In so doing, we look at television as a powerful ally for positive change and development. As I welcome the advent of television, both national and international, into our homes, I'm confident that our people have the wisdom to judge and choose what is good for them. I'm also confident that the Bhutan Broadcasting Service will provide a variety of choices that are both entertaining and educative. As it disseminates timely and relevant knowledge and information to all corners of our country, it must also provide a rich variety of local programs that will deepen the understanding and appreciation of our values and traditions. Before I conclude, I would like to congratulate the management and the staff of the BBS for the hard work that they have put in to make this historic event a success. I would also like to thank the Quincel and our radio broadcasting service for the valuable service they have been rendering to our people. I'm very happy to note that the advent of a national television service comes as a natural progression of the success achieved by them. The inauguration of Bhutan's national television service today marks the full emergence of a modern media in Bhutan as we stand on the threshold of the 21st century. Thank you and Tashi Dilip.